Good day everyone. I'm making this video to show you how to find text in multiple Excel files in a folder and then get the location of the text. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, you can buy me a cup of coffee or tip me by using the PayPal link in the description below. So I have created uh, a few sample files in uh, a folder and uh, each file I have uh, uh, put a text uh, to, be, to, be, uh, to be found by Power Ultimate. So I have inserted Robert in uh, various sheets, right, in various cells. Um, then uh, there's, a, there's a sample file tree, there's uh, no robot inside. So basically, um, the end result is to show you um, where robot is located in the list of files. Um, so to start, you need to download Power Automate, right? Um, Let me open this up. Okay, the first step is uh, display input dialog. Right, to ask the user or yourself um, what to find. So in this case, the default value is Robert. And then uh, keep input dialog always on top. And then uh, disable the button press. And the various produce change it to target. Then the next uh, dialog is uh, question two. Uh, please key in the folder path of all the Excel files that you want to find. Um, and then the default value is um, the folder that I have just shown you. Uh, input type single line. Keep input dialog always on the top. Yeah, I should have uh, enabled it. Variables produced is a uh, folder path. Right. Then uh, disable button press. Then you use get files in folder. So the folder is folder path. Then file filter is all the asterisk files, the asterisk.xlsx. Uh, include subfolders, no. If you want, you can include subfolders. Um, at once, fear upon denied access to any subfolder, uh, enable. No sort, descending, no, uh, no descending, no sort, not descending, no sort, not descending. I think I leave, left it off with default. Whereas, whereas produce is files. Then you have to create a new list. This is a listing of all the location of uh, Robert, the text that you want to find. Then uh, add item to this. So you you add these uh, column names. So it's target uh, colon Excel colon sheet colon column index colon row index. This is the column names for the listing of uh, the search the, the, the found location then you use um, for each right files and then store into current file so it will iterate each file then you launch Excel Launch Excel and open the following document. Document path is a current file. So this is the files, first file in the folder. Make instance visible. Open as strict only. Um, there's no need to key in password. 
uh, variables produced is Excel instance. Then first you have to get all the worksheets. So get all worksheets. Excel instance is Excel instance. Variables produced is eight ins. Then you, you use for each again. Uh, this is for all the current sheets. So value to iterate is eight ins and four into current sheets. Then you set set active Excel worksheet. So Excel instance activate worksheet with mean worksheet worksheet mean current sheets. Right. Find and replace. Uh, you find you use the find and replace cells in Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance. Search mode is find. Uh, disable all matches. Text to find target. Mesh paste disable. Mesh entire cell contains disable. Then search by rows. So variables produce is found column index and found row index. Then you use the if. So if found column index not equal to zero, you add um, the location name into the list. So you have to set variable. So this is the first uh, first uh, location where Robert is found. So target this is just for reference. Then uh, colon current file colon current sheet colon Found column index, colon, found row index. Then uh, you add item to the or original list with the column names. So add item, new variable, new var into list. Right. So sorry, this is the, the set to new var. This is the new var. Then you add item to the list. Then you end the if, then you end the for each current sheet, then you close the Excel instance, so it's the first file, then it will loop back to the next file, right? Look back to step number six. So once it loop finish, um, it will write text to file, so it will write um. The, the list of results to um, the folder path, then uh, backwards slash result.csv, and then text to write is the list, the list of results. Disable a pen new line, overwrite existing content, uh, Unicode. So remember, this is write text to file, and but you put .csv as the file type. Or uh, then the encoding is Unicode. Then you read from CSV file. So the location of the folder slash results dot CSV. Um, encoding you can just leave it as UTF eight. At once, uh, you can uh, enable trim fields. Um, you can disable first line contains column names. Uh, column separator is custom, and then Custom separator is uh, um, the colon, the colon with the comma. Then uh, various produce is uh, CSV table. Sorry, custom separator is a semicolon. Where variables produce is CS CSV table. Right, then uh, you launch Excel with a blank document, make instance visible. So variables produce is Excel instant result. Then Excel, then you write to Excel worksheet, Excel instance, Excel instance results, value to write CSV table, then write mode on current active cell. So um okay. I'm gonna save it. 
then I, I'm going to run close this file um, let me change this file channel so I'm going to click on run so the first question please type in text to find so for this case I want to find Robert and I click OK then uh, you have to tell uh, Excel, uh, sorry, get a tell Power Automate where to find the uh, the files, right? So you put everything into a folder, and you press OK. Then it will run behind the scene. It will iterate each file in the folder. There are five files. It will be very quick. Then it's done. So you just open the Excel file. Then you can see uh, Robert is found in this Excel file. Uh, his name is A. Column index is two. Row index is eight. So column index two means it's um, column B, right? So he has found uh, six robots in uh, six different locations in uh, all the different sheets. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and feel free to uh, buy me a cup of coffee. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Um, thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.